Thank you, Jordan. Sports Minister Olivia Grange is urging persons to take care of sporting facilities in their communities as it gets difficult to ask for funding to renovate or build new ones when they are kept in poor condition. Minister of Sport Olivia Babsy Grange says close to $200 million was spent on more than 30 facilities in the past year for different phases between construction and renovation. In building out, renovating, or building new facilities, 35 in infrastructure projects last year for over $190 million. As a result, she's urging that the facilities be well taken care of. It's one thing for you to get facilities, but if you don't keep and care, then, you know, I won't be able to defend my case when I go to ask for more. Because I'm going to hear, but no, I'm going to mash up the place, them get it and look at this, look at that. Grange was speaking at one of the ribbon-cutting ceremonies for the opening of two multipurpose courts in Discovery Bay and Addison Park in St. Anne recently. And in Discovery Bay, basketball coach Maverick Edwards says the new court will aid in the growth and the development of the sport in that side of the island. Many community in this come in, in Discovery Bay here. We will be able to able to play netball, volleyball, basketball, and, and we are excited. And with the program here that Mr. Poiser is undertaking with a gra at a grassroots level from age eight upward to 18 years and even older, they will have a home here that they can practice. And already there are plans afoot to establish a grassroots program starting this Saturday. Mr. Trevor Poiser, which is a basketball coordinator, he is the national um, under 14 basketball coach. He will be using this facility as a grassroots program that he can develop the skill of the young people in the community. And also one Mr. Brady will be also undertaking a grassroots football program here at the center. He is already doing it every Saturday, but he want to take it even further in the weekdays. Meanwhile, acting sports coordinator of Brownstown Community College, Olivia Cole, welcomes the addition to Addison Park. So many persons can come in and we can all benefit from the use of this facility. And Cole says it will help to improve sporting performances by the college. We have been involved in netball matches, football, intercollegiate matches and CCCJ matches also and we stand to benefit greatly because this is the field that is in closest proximity to our institution. Our facilities are underdeveloped and we're more than grateful to know that we can come here, we can have our students train and we can have them performing optimally as they seek to make their name big on the sports stage.